In this video, we'll show you how to connect our plug and play laser kit to your machine. In the kit, you'll find everything you need to connect the laser to your machine. We advise purchasing an optional LaserDock Pro, as it allows you to quickly attach and remove your laser head in just seconds. The mounts include a set of required and additional screws to accommodate custom mounting. When using the LaserDock Pro, mount the laser side part onto the laser. Choose the appropriate mounting holes depending on how you adjusted the position of your spindle in the mount. Then connect the air hose and the short connection cable. If you're not using the LaserDock Pro, do not connect the air hose. If you're using the LaserDock Pro with a laser with a 5-pin connector like the XT50 and XF Plus, use the connector plugged into the laser head to rewire one side of the short connection cable. Leave one wire unconnected. Secure it, for example, with a piece of tape. A double 5-pin connector cable can also be used. Pay attention to plugging it in correctly into the LaserDock Pro. Next, mount the adapter to laser cable to your machine. You can route it inside the cable drag chain, attach it alongside the chain, or suspend it from the top of the machine. Connect the signal cable to your controller by locating the correct pins, following your machine's wiring diagram. Then, connect both cables and the power supply to the Adapter Pro. Attach the provided mount to your machine. The mount may vary depending on your machine, as compatible mounts are tailored to different models. When using the laser without the LaserDock Pro, attach it to the mount. For the XT8 model, you may need the included additional connection plate depending on your setup. Connect the air hose and laser cable. When using the LaserDock Pro, mount the CNC side part on the machine's mount. Then, connect the laser cable and air hose to the dock. These steps are the same for both XT50 and XF Plus laser heads. From now on, wear the laser safety glasses. 
Power up the adapter pro by turning the safety key to on. First, run a test fire to check if the laser is working. Press the knob once to arm the adapter, then hold for one second to enter test mode. Set a duty cycle of at least 1% and hold the knob to fire the laser. If the laser fires, you're ready to start your work. Attach the OptiShield beam cover to the nozzle. Next, place your material and use the height reference tool to set the nominal working distance. Lower the laser slowly to avoid contact with the material. You're all set. Enjoy working on your projects and we wish you good results. Did you know we have a Facebook group? Join our community to ask questions, share and get advice and showcase your creations. We'd love to see you there.